Greta Gerwig's directorial debut, Lady Bird, has been attracting all kinds of praise, accolades, and hype. At one point on Rotten Tomatoes, it broke Toy Story 2's record for the most fresh reviews ever. It had one of the best indie box office openings of the year and took home top Golden Globes. A.O. Scott of the New York Times called the film perfect. So what is all the hype about? What's so great about Lady Bird? Before we go on, we wanted to tell you a little bit about this video's sponsor, Skillshare, which is a really great online learning community. They've got classes on everything we love, video production, writing, photography. Only in January, you can get three months premium access to all of their classes for just 99 cents total. You can get the deal through our link in the description below. Now back to Ladybird. First, a quick look at the story. Fiercely independent teen Christine McPherson has christened herself Ladybird. That's your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. She itches to escape Sacramento and her all-girls Catholic school for a place where she can be more herself. I want to go where culture is, like How New in the York, world did I raise such a or at least snob. Connecticut or New Hampshire, well, where writers live in the get woods. Get into those schools anyway. We watch her battle with her mother, test out different friends and boyfriends, go to prom, and try to figure out who she is. One pack of camel lights, a scratcher, and a playgirl. ID. It's my birthday today. One of the most powerful things about this film is its thesis, that love is really attention. When reading Lady Bird's college essay, the principal of her school compliments how clearly Lady Bird's love for Sacramento comes through in her attention to detail. And she only realizes how much she does love her hometown after she leaves. Everything else we see in the story is also informed by this poignant observation that love is a form of attention, which isn't always easy or pleasant. Lady Bird's mother, Marion, pays nonstop attention to her, and that can feel overbearing, judgmental, or burdensome, but it's how she loves her daughter. When Lady Bird ditches her best friend Julie for a rich, popular girl who can help her get close to a new crush, the betrayal is again about attention. If we take our attention away from someone, we're essentially taking our love away. So more than anything, in both its form and its content, its style and its story, Lady Bird's message is to value what surrounds you, to truly sweat the details of your life. The film itself is the result of great attention paid by its writer-director, Gerwig. It's a period piece of sorts, the period being the not-so-distant year of 2002. To capture this sense of recent cultural history, Gerwig and her DP Sam Levy aimed to give the film the visual quality of a memory. It was shot on digital, but they worked to emulate the look of Xerox copies and early 2000s yearbook photos. Images not overtly nostalgic, but that feel at a remove. Inspired by Sacramento's River, they incorporated blues into the color palette, and the blues are paired with pastels to recall paintings of everyday objects by Northern California's Wayne Thibault. And then there are the period details in the costumes and soundtrack to remind viewers of the early 2000s at every turn, from the secondhand Doc Martin Mary Janes and puka shell necklaces, to key events in the Iraq War playing out on the TV, to Lady Bird's defiant admission that she does really like Dave Matthews Band's Crash Into Me, no matter how uncool the song may have been. Lady Bird is a classic coming-of-age tale, capturing the universality of the teen experience and its sometimes comedic obstacles. Just wanted it to be special. Why? You're gonna have so much unspecial sex in your life. Think Stand By Me, Dazed and Confused, Mean Girls, Superbad, or Moonlight. Yet Lady Bird avoids cliches in a well-trodden territory by giving us really specific characters and moments, like the football coach trying to direct the school play. And it finds its originality by changing something key in the structure of the coming-of-age tale. We watch the story unfold from two sides, from the perspective of the teen and from the perspective of a parent learning to let go. If you're tired, we can sit down. I'm not tired. You were dragging your feet. You are so infuriated. Please stop yelling. I'm not yelling. Oh, oh it's God. perfect. Do you love it? The result is a mother-daughter love story between Lady Bird and Marion. What's most compelling about this pair is how antagonistic their relationship might look from the outside, yet how bonded and attentive they are to each other. Does mom hate me? You both have such strong personalities. Their relationship is what Gerwig is saying love looks like. It's not very pretty or perfect, but it perseveres. 
Gerwig has said that Lady Bird is not autobiographical, but she sets the story in familiar territory. She grew up in suburban Sacramento, attended Catholic high school, and moved to New York City. One of her major inspirations in writing about Sacramento was the writing of Northern Californian Joan Didion, specifically the 2003 essay collection Where I Was From. Gerwig describes her discovery of Didion's work as, quote, spiritually seismic, as shattering as if I'd grown up in Dublin and suddenly read James Joyce. Gerwig's gift to the place that formed her is this intimate portrait of the Midwest of California, as Lady Bird calls Sacramento. When I started writing the movie, my intention was to make something about what home means and what family means and how it doesn't really come into focus until you're leaving. Sacramento is where I grew up, so I felt like it had not been given its proper due in cinema. And finally, much of the story's greatness comes down to the character of Lady Bird herself. She's larger than life in her brave self-assurance and determination to be herself, whoever that is. She's kind of a badass. And not expect everybody to do everything. <laughs> Lady Bird represents how a lot of misfits or confused teens might have felt in high school, even if we didn't all act on our impulses in the way she does. And she reassures us that everything will turn out all right in the end. Along with its many gifts, Lady Bird may resonate with viewers even more due to the context of its release. It comes at a time when women are openly challenging the kinds of male stories that typically dominate the screen. And in this politically contentious era, it's refreshing for so many people to agree on the the quality of a film that's not only written by, directed by, and starring a woman, but is also about a female character like Lady Bird, who forges her own path and makes mistakes along the way. Lady Bird's positive impact will live on, sending a message to young women that it's okay not to have everything figured out, even after you become an adult. Yeah, well, you know your mom's tits, they're totally fake. She made one bad decision at 19. Two bad decisions. Hi guys, this is Susanna. We at Screen Prism are all about life long learning. We're always trying to improve our knowledge of film and visual culture. So we're really into Skillshare. Their online learning community offers over 18,000 classes, all for less than $10 a month. We really like their classes on film, like cinematography, how to make your film look like a movie, editing on Premiere, they can even teach you wedding videography. Not to mention all their classes on business, design, photography, writing. These are some big, distinguished teachers coming to you through your computer screen. And if you sign up this January, you can get three three months premium access to all classes for just 99 cents. That's 99 cents total. So if you want to take your work or your art to the next level, try Skillshare. Click the link in our description below, head over to Skillshare.com, and start filling your brains with the knowledge you need to develop all the skills you ever wanted. Thanks for watching, and if you like our videos, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Just click this link here. We spend a lot of time making these videos, and every little bit helps. And of course, the very best thing you can do is subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our latest videos.